Ba weep, grana weep, ninny bong, and welcome back to my channel where we talk about all things Transformers and Transformers action figure related. And I'm coming back at you today with another news roundup. So every Tuesdays and Saturdays, I try and come at you with a news roundup of what I've found over the internet. And we continue to grow this channel, so thank you all very, very much for your support so far. As I said in my last video, I've recently just ticked over the 600 mark, so thank you all for your support. And if you are new around here, give us a like, a share, and a subscribe, because it really, really does help my channel out. So earlier this week... Uh, to start with, we got this image dropped on us by the guys over at Takara. Now, there's been a few people saying, oh, what's this? What's this? What's this? Apparently, this is going to be the next combiner. To me, this looks like Grimlock. Uh, I'm not sure what those things are in the background, uh, but to me that looks like Grimlock, so that potentially says that we're going to get a different uh, Dino King or Volcanicus. If they fix the Volcanicus, I'll be quite happy with that because I'd like to see that done differently. Um, I don't like the arms on the, the Volcanicus from Hasbro at all. They look really gangly. So any any update on that, I'd be really happy for. I'm not sure what those things are in the background. They look like some kind of mega robot nipple things. That's what strikes me. So very bizarre. Let me know your thoughts on this one down in the comments, guys. But I'm hyped to see uh, maybe a new combiner coming from the guys over at Broding Gang, um, Broding Gang, yeah, Broding Gang. Uh, so Magic Square MSB31. Uh, obviously, these are just the digital images. What well, I'm excited to see what they do with an Ultra Magnus. Um, I don't actually have a more classic G1 styled uh, Ultra Magnus in my collection, and I also don't have any Magic Square products currently in my collection so yeah this might actually be the the first one that i pick up looks okay heading over to the kind of bayverse now and unique toys shared their mp scale uh, r04 nero this is it in truck mode it's now up for pre-order on um tf source and i think this is actually not a bad looking figure from the bayverse so this is their take on the Galvatron from the Bayverse movies and I'm not a great lover of the Bayverse figures but this actually looks okay. Uh, I really like the, the alt mode on it, the alt mode looks great and the figure itself looks pretty good, you get a little mini figure there. So that's quite nice as well but all in all this is quite a nice looking figure and one that i am actually tempted by just because of the designs not because uh, i've got an affection for this actually from the movies um let me know your thoughts on this one so moving down to tokyo uh, so in the coming weeks uh, there's going to be an actual pop-up store over in Tokyo dedicated to Transformers and they're going to have all kinds of goodies on sale there. So they're going to have things like metal pins, acrylic keychains, mugs, iPhone cases, portfolios, mobile stands, mobile rings, mobile cases, acrylic character stands and also postcards. So this is something that's actually pretty nice pretty cool to have over in japan but it would be nice if we also got something like this over in uh, the uk or in the states uh, all these things look like they're a very kind of uh, hand-drawn art style um, really liking it lots of g1 flavors here uh, to get your teeth into looks really really cool uh, even down to the kind of transformers logo in the old style there uh, mugs are all the hand-drawn art there as well and there's even some beast wars there so if you guys are into your beast wars then they're even blessing uh, you guys with a couple of things here for you as well but it's really nice to see all of the things that they're bringing forward um i would i would say that i would probably pick up the mug the mug looks pretty cool and maybe a key ring uh there seems to be an awful lot of beast wars stuff going on here obviously uh to also push with the kingdom side of the business i would imagine just to remind everybody what beast wars was and what beast wars is so nice nice enough there to uh to have a look at um nice that they're doing that over in japan i wish they'd do a few more things like that over here in the uk 
Next up, the guys at Lemon Tree. So this is the guys who are also currently doing the Purple Potato, uh, which is the uh, LT03. They've released some pictures of what will be the LT01, and this thing looks absolutely phenomenal. This looks beautiful, and you can see here, this is kind of a, a Bumblebee style prime, I guess. Um, the alt mode just looks off the chain uh looks absolutely perfect this apparently is not is going to be um around a voyager scale i saw online so um for this much articulation in in a smaller figure and um, very 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 interesting um the thing just looks absolutely beautiful spot on really really um, happy to to see something like this i don't have a, a bumblebee style prime in my collection so i think this is a must pick up for me i um, really excited by what the guys over at lemon tree are actually doing this is the second figure that i've seen from them i don't know what this if anyone knows what the lt02 is uh, feel free to put it down in the comments because i'd really like to know what that is because the lt01 which is this and the lt03 which is the purple potato are two things that are just must buys for me now all the detailing on this loads of beautiful beautiful molded detailing so it looks very 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 articulated as well and that blaster even the, the the accessory there looks like it's just so well sculpted painted brilliant job can't wait to get this bad boy in my hands then we move on to a few more in hand images that i've been able to get so prime versus prime has done a review on Runamuck. Uh, if you want to see that then um, I'll leave a link down in the description to his full uh, review on this and it's yeah I mean you can see from this picture it doesn't seem to kind of hold together there's a massive gap in the alt mode here I don't know why um, these are having these huge gaps in at the moment you know the Sunstreaker's mold is really really bad uh, in the alt mode this one as well doesn't seem to hold together as well as i would like it to hold together it looks okay i guess but it doesn't seem to hold together all that well um it also has a, a full false roof which you can kind of see uh when you turn it over uh, something else that they kind of they point out here prime versus prime points out that again they've gone with this two-tone they can't seem to match the white to the white so similar to sunstreaker we're getting a two-tone um a kind of a, a grayish white and then a, a more whiter white on the plastics they just can't seem to get the, the match here at all still some nice looking painted uh windows uh windscreens here though which isn't bad the bot mode though does look pretty good um so all in all um i quite like it again the chest doesn't match the rest of the body on this but it's not as as bad as sunstreaker um i'm probably still gonna pick this one up i think but i really want to see a few more pictures of it i'm really disappointed that at the moment things just don't seem to be holding together and looking as good as they could do in the alt modes uh again let me know your thoughts on this one down in the comments guys where where, where are you standing on this have you watched uh, the full vi video from uh, prime versus prime uh has it put you off buying the figure uh, or are you still hyped for this one because i know there was a lot of hype and i think this was actually a, a fan voted one as well right online we also got another load of in hand images from tonton so i will also link this down in the description below so that you can go over to tonton reviews and see the full review on cheeto again for me um i've seen a lot of people really really excited about this one uh i think it looks better than dino don't get me wrong and i've actually said in my last video that this was the first one that i was toying with the idea of getting because i quite liked the bot mode seeing this yeah i'm still in two minds um about it i think the the the, the back certainly the back end looks um challenging to say the least nothing's really smooth again i just don't think you can pull off realistic animal looking figures um while they need to transform um having them in a robot mode would have just 
been amazing but i understand why uh they don't and i'm sure that the, the beast wars guys i'm sure are uh drooling over this one at the moment and really like it the bot mode version for this um yeah i mean it looks okay i haven't really changed my mind on it um it still looks an okay it's probably the best looking bot mode that i've seen from all of the beast wars ones so far um it hasn't pushed me either way uh, whether or not I want to get this figure or not again I'll have to just see what else is about uh, when uh, I come to pick up this figure so guys let me know uh, your thoughts on this one as well and I just want to leave you with one thought today as well and this is something that I learned uh, over the course of this week that Hasbro owns death row records so the guys that brought us Snoop, Dre, Tupac from back in the day Hasbro owns Death Row Records. Incredible. I never knew that. So I'm now wait. I'm a huge music fan. I love I love um, my hip hop. I'm I'm really waiting for that Unicron Suge Knight crossover now. So make it happen. Make it happen. All right, guys. If you like what I'm doing around here, give us a like, a share, and a subscribe. And as always, I would love to hear your thoughts on all of these topics down in the comments. Love having.